It is 642. Welcome back. Well, like something out of a children's book, rainbows grace the sky with an array of colors, and we've seen a lot of them lately. New this morning, meteorologist Amber Wheeler is here to tell us why we're seeing them and how they're formed. It's this week's Weather Wise. Amber? Well, Tim and Alicia, you know, we're seeing that colorful belt across the sky more now because of the combination of the perfect sun angles and rain. Now, sunlight moves through the water droplets in the air and bends the light. It then reflects reflects it back, and when the light reflect leaves that water droplet, it separates into its separate colors. So basically, this is why we're seeing so many colors of the rainbow. It's broken down light. Now, we're seeing them more now because of our current season and weather pattern. This shows you our monthly moisture broken down, and so uh, we're in what's known as our, our rainy season right now. I know a lot of folks in the north uh, may want to disagree with that, but this is, historically speaking, our rainy season, and this is why you'll see more rainbows. Uh, more moisture in the air and the warmer months hold more moisture in the winter. That moisture in the air is frozen and it's responsible for sun pillars and sun dogs, but we get the rainbows during those summer months. So to get these beauties, you need a rain shower or very saturated air. Then you need uh, some sunlight. Of course, you need the clouds to part a little bit, and then you need to be in between the rain and the sun, and that gives you the best view of the rainbow. Now the best sun angles are at 42 degrees and below, so not too high in the sky. And that would be uh, really the best times would be just a few hours after sunrise and a few hours before sunset. Now, rainbows mean something different uh, to everyone around the world. Now, in the Bible, they're a sign from God that he'll never flood the earth again. And in Ireland, there's that famous pot of gold that we hear about at the end of the rainbow. The Mandan Indians maintain caution and even advise against pointing at one. And another interesting fact about the rainbow is that they're complete, they're actually complete circles and we just see a part of them since we're on the ground. And a way you can see that full circle is if you're in a plane and it actually has to be just the perfect conditions for you to see the full circle. But sometimes we actually see a double rainbow and that's what's called re-reflection of the, the light through the water droplet. So the drop Droplets, of course, re-reflect that light, cast a second, basically, rainbow. It's a little fainter because it's re-reflected. Mm -hmm. And if you look at it, you'll see the colors in reverse so from, the first, uh, from the first rainbow. So there's a pot of gold at the end of the regular rainbow, but the re-reflected rainbow, it's actually just a pot of silver. Yeah, maybe so. <laughs> My theory is the leprechauns just want us to run in circles, and I they're so, sitting there a with a pot of gold. Mm. It's a perfect circle. Well, right, yeah, like, so if there's <laughs> no end of the rainbow, yeah, that's... Yeah, um, they, they, they just have it. They're keeping it to themselves. We've been sold a bill of goods by I, those I've leprechauns. I've been running for years now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, Amber. Uh, well, we have everything you need to know to start your day here as you head out the door coming up in yeah, just a little bit. That's for sure, and we'll be back in 90 seconds.